In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to import an SQL file into phpMyAdmin. Now we're going to export different files from phpMyAdmin. And it depends on which level that we want to export from. So we can do it from the server level, database level, or the table level. So at the moment, I'm in phpMyAdmin and I'm just at the server level. That means that I click on uh, this link up at the top. It is just a server. I'm not in any particular database over here at the side. So if I export at that level, I'm actually going to export the entire database. And in particular, if I've got a number of databases there, I can click on that custom radio button and it will show me all the different databases. I select the one that I want and I can then just export it out to SQL. If I want to just export the tables that are within a database, I just need to go into the database level. At that stage, if I actually click on the export tab and I click on go SQL, it is just going to give me all the SQL queries that will create the tables and populate the tables with the data that's in this current database. For all of these SQL files that we want when we export them, on this view, all I need to do is just copy it onto the clipboard, paste it into a text editor, and save that text with the .sql extension. Lastly, if I want to go into an actual table, and on the table level, if I click on the export tab and click on go, it's just going to give me create that particular table and give me the data just in that single table that I'm exporting. And that's all. Again, the process is the same. I just copy it into a text editor, saved as an SQL extension, and it's ready for importing into phpMyAdmin. The main thing to remember is Whatever level I export from, I need to match that with the level that I'm importing to on the next phpMyAdmin. So for instance, if I actually go to the server level and I export from there, I'm actually exporting an entire database. So therefore, I need to import at the server level when I'm importing that SQL file. If I'm actually exporting from the database level, I need to make sure that I actually create this database on the phpMyAdmin before I import the SQL file. And likewise, if I'm actually exporting from the table level, I need to make sure that, again, I go to the actual database level to actually import in a single table. And that's an overview how to export SQL from PHPMyAdmin.